Hello and welcome back again, everyone, to more of the Book of Unwritten Tales. A thieving rat. Devious and dangerous. It always runs into its little hole when I get too close. Alright. Dwarfs are excellent stone masons. That fireplace is proof. And what's in the box? Oh, damn it, cat! A large crate. It must have been delivered as I, um, I swept. <laughs> Do I have a broom? I don't. Let's see. Not a chance. I'll never get this crate open with my bare hands. Alright. Oh, phone battery dying again. Oh, there's a crowbar for it, though. That's the Master Brewer's favorite spot. He likes to relax there in the evenings. Alright, so there's a kitchen. Okay. I just want to get a good visualization. Obviously, we're going to use the crowbar on that. The pipes run through the walls and floor. They are part of the central beer supply system, which runs through the whole bastion. A dwarf-sized crowbar. So it's pretty big. <laughs> Whoop. Let's talk to him. Hello, Master Brewer, sir. Hi, I will burn. Is everything okay with the beer? That's not so easy to say. It's complicated with beer. I agree. You initially think, hmm, that tastes good. But then, bam, the finish is all off. Earthy and musty, and there's nothing you can do. But of course, you can't really tell from just one pint. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed not. I'll take care of the robot then, and the rat. Aye, go on then. All right, let's use the crowbar let's on the see. box. And... Oh, wow. What's that? Ah, the user manual. Uh-oh. Text message. Um... An X-100 house robot. A practical helper for home and garden. It's off. Looks like there's no power. Wood Elvish. Succubushish. Succubushish. Here we are. Dwarven. Thank you for purchasing an X100 house robot, the latest in house robot technology. Feed the X100 the stinking remains of your disgusting existence, but absolutely no broccoli or Brussels sprouts. You gotta poop to make it work? Rats. There. Rat care, rats breeding, ah, rat hunted, rat hunted. In order to hunt rats or vermin of any kind, you must first feed the X100 with DNA from your target. DNA carriers include hair, blood, sweat, snot, and uh, other things. Okay, so first I have to give the robot a little garbage appetizer to start it up before I feed it the main course. Rat DNA. Uh, Finally, a simple rat trap. <laughs> uh, do I have to poop on it? According to the manual, the X100 needs kitchen scrap oh. or rubbish to function properly. Uh, Master Brewer? Hello, Master Brewer, sir. Aye, aye, well done. Um. I'll take care of the robot then. I thought he was going to get some scraps. Aye, go on then. And, uh, please remind me, guys, I do have to text my sister back at the end of this video. It's a map. It says the country's best pubs on it. It shows the area reaching from our beautiful White Ridge Mountains down to the sea, where the humans live on the coast. Bum, 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 bum. Well, I figure if you're going to find, uh, scraps... Freaking cat! Oh my God! Get off the of Master my computer! Master Brewer says these Come kettles here. are used to make beer. This is his private <laughs> setup, and the proper <laughs> ones are in the cellar. All right, I gotta close this door. The freaking cat, like, oh, Triss is doing amazing, but she loves to like 
get on the computer when I'm trying to play and like walk in front of the monitor. Pain in the little butt. An old, rather dirty cooking pot. Uh, at least he has a facial expression with it. Ah, mutant slime. Oh god. Maybe I should have thrown out the rest of that chocolate pudding. Yeah, you think? A pile of dirty dishes. The longer the other dwarves are away, the less attention the master brewer pays to things like this. Isn't it your job to clean this stuff? I'd point it out to the master brewer, but then I'd be the one who ends up washing it all up. Oh, well, alright, good call. The stove isn't used much. Though this morning the master brewer heated up a few beer sausages on it. Alright. A tin coffee pot. It hasn't been used in ages. And guaranteed not for coffee. The master brewer doesn't trust non-alcoholic drinks. Good man. Hmm, the coals in the oven have kept the stove warm. The stove is still a little warm. You couldn't cook anything on it, but you could eat something up. Interesting. The sun is pretty low. It'll be dark soon. I call it A History of Dwarven Cuisine, The Last Three Weeks, by Wilbur Weathervane. Let's take it. Ugh. A uh, net? I oh, know. A very roughly knotted net with loose ends. Maybe it's used for fruit. Although I've never seen any fruit around here, the master brewer prefers heartier fare. Well, I'll take it. Dwarven fast food. But I'm <laughs> not hungry. Can we take it? Guess that. This pump can be used to pump water up from deep in the mountain. Although I wouldn't bet on it still working. I thought so. Broken. The dwarves have a lot of work ahead of them when they get back. If they come back. The rubbish bin is almost overflowing. Presumably it's my job to empty it, but... Oh well. <laughs> Alright. So we got some junk. I do want to see if I can't... Get some of the pot slime with the, uh... I don't really think I'll be able to scoop the slime out of that pot. Alright. And we can't grab anything of it yet. Okay. Let's, um... I like this, though. This uh, There's, like, some actual puzzle solving in this now. I think one of my biggest complaints, a lot of games today, it seemed like it was... Um, there wasn't a lot of, like, point-and-click adventure to it. There wasn't a lot of trying to find items. Um, all right, Mr. Robot, you want some rubbish? Nom, 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 nom. The robot gets its energy from rubbish. That's got the power supply sorted out then. All right, so we need to get... A thieving rat. Devious and dangerous. It always runs into its little hole when I get too close. Ugh! It looks like the X100 really liked that rubbish. At least it's purring like a cat. Now I just have to get it to hunt like one. Alright, so we gotta feed it. That seems to be the rattle where the little beast plans its raids. Nah, the net is pretty coarsely woven. The rat would probably slip through. Besides, I don't feel like sticking my hand in the dark hole. Interesting. Alright, let's go outside quick. That's the exit, but I can't call it a day yet. First, All I have right. to teach the house robot to catch rats. Well, how are we gonna... The rat has chewed through the wood. There's some fur hanging from a splinter. Ah. Oh, I'll take that. That makes that easy. And now the fur. A source of rat DNA. There you go, buddy. I 
And it's gone. It won't be back anytime soon either. Problem solved. Yay! To be honest, I'm not going to put my hand in there without a very good reason. Who knows what the rat has hidden there? Maybe rotten food, or already digested food, or even more rats. Rat poopy. Hello, Master Brewer, sir. Aye, aye, Wilbur. Did you know there's an evil slime living in a pot in the kitchen? Oh, yes, it nicked a sausage off me this morning. Well, doesn't that bother you? Well, yes. Live and let live, I say. As long as it doesn't develop a taste for beer. <laughs> the rat's gone. I saw. It's amazing what you little gnomes can puzzle out, eh? The rat's lost his appetite for my hops at any rate. He won't be coming back for a while. <laughs> can I call it a day now? Of course you can. Safe home, my lad. See you tomorrow. Uh, yeah, where are the other dwarves? Where are the other dwarves, anyway? All away fighting. You know that. There's been nobody here sent me for years. I'm keeping the whole place ticking over. If you weren't here, lad, I'd probably have pegged it from loneliness long ago. <laughs> What's the news from the front? The Alliance is winning, isn't it? It's a proper mess. They just swing back and forth. It's been like that for years. Neither side has the advantage. Today, we take Finsterberg, and tomorrow the Shadow Army plunders Auenheim. Today, we take care of Garrick the Throat Slitter, and tomorrow, they nobble Bella Sunnythor. At the moment, we've got Mortroga's fortress under siege, the old Arch Witch. Not getting anywhere fast, though. It could still be years before either side gets the upper hand. Lovely. Hopefully we do. Aye, let's hope so. <laughs> do you miss the other dwarves a lot? Aye, there's not much going on here now, that's for sure. In the old days, it was packed and rowdy every night. Stone Chomper and Bowl in the Bear, Peppo and Talon. <laughs> he could beat anyone at finger wrestling. And then, of course, Finger there was Talent, our leader with his golden tankard. Now, I've only got you here. You're not exactly a party animal. Maybe the other dwarves will come back soon. Aye, and then they'll tell their tales of adventure, the times they've had and what they've been through. And me, I can only listen on. I'd like to hear their stories, seeing as though I'm not with them myself. Bye. See you later, lad. How incredibly depressing. And another day ends. And, as usual, I didn't save any princesses, or fight any dragons, or hunt any orcs. I chased a rat off, and I didn't even do it myself. I used a fully automated robot instead. It's going to take more than that before my statue stands next to Knight Tilo in the Hall of Heroes, but I'm going to make it one day. Cute. Oh, so bright. <laughs> hey, you, boy, you've got to get me out of here. Quickly, please. I was abducted. An elf freed me. They want. You've got to believe me. I have the key to something that could determine the fate of the war. Listen, boy. It's too late. You see this ring? It's the key. Take it to the humanoid spade in the town of Seastone. You understand? But... All of our fates depend on it. A gnome with a ring. Where have I seen this before? Oh, dear, dear, nobody's going to believe this. There's no way I'll make it down to the human town by the sea on my own. 
I need help. I should ask the Master Brewer for help. Or Grandad. He fought for the Alliance. Um. The Tarps are supposed to offer the Stonemasons a little protection. They have to be pretty tough if they're out there in all kinds of weather. Can I take it? I'm not climbing up there. It's all iced up. I'd probably end up breaking my neck. Some hero you are. A rolled up tarpaulin. Probably just like the ones hanging all over the place. That you could take. That's the entrance to my family's norm hall. We've been living here for generations. Let's go uh, talk to Granddad, I guess. Hey, my mechanical flying fish Nemo. How did you get there? One of the few technical devices I ever built. Well, to be honest, actually my father and my sister really, but uh, I did watch. Excellent. Gnomish craft at its finest. It still works. A solid example of gnome technology, if I do say so myself. That door is part of Dad's living space optimization unit. Behind it is sort of a car park for rooms. There is so much crap a in chair. here. <laughs> a chair. One of my Dad's inventions. He calls it a time measurometer. It spits the day into two periods of 12 hours each and shows which hour we are currently in. Aha. Uh -huh. My mother is a real whole wife. She spends her time on chemistry, biology, genetics and that kind of stuff. Okay, so he's not like some orphan. Those are my mum's plants. She grows a lot of that green stuff. She keeps trying to genetically change the plants so they can grow up here amidst the icy mountains. Oh, I can't reach that. Oh. Net it? Oh, rubbish. Put the rubbish back. Get the net. You can't net it? What the hell's wrong with you, boy? A heavy gold ring. Ooh, it feels warm. There is some fine script on the inside, but I can't make out what it says. One ring to rule them all? One ring to find them? Maybe? No? Those are the controls for our living space optimization unit. My father invented them. Uh, let's go downstairs first. Before we go... And down we go. Whee! Well, that's clever. <laughs> Little, uh, stairway. Hold! Uh, Who's there? Hi, Grandad. It's me. I doubt it. What's the password? Nuclear first strike, sir. Hmm, correct. <laughs> what do you want? A gremlin gave me this ring. He said it's very important. He said the ring has to be delivered to the Archmage as quickly as possible. A ring? Have you checked it for contamination? Cont... Cont... Um... For curses, hexes, poison. No. I, uh, what am I talking about? Of course you have. No one would accept a ring from a gremlin and not check it for curses. Dangerous little blight does those gremlins. You shouldn't feed them after midnight, you know. <laughs> the, uh, the, the gremlin said this ring could decide the course of the entire war. Decide the course of the war? That would be... Where is this gremlin? He's been kidnapped. He barely had time to give me this ring. It should be taken to the Archmage as quickly as possible. The Archmage? Hmm. Yes, yeah. yes. He'd know what to do. This is what we've been waiting for. This is what we've trained for. Uh. This is the hour in which a stout youngster becomes an adult. The hour of glory. The hour of fame. Over, hour. But, but, what do you mean stout? 
Does everyone know what they have to do? No. Right, men. Let it be so. Uh, Gramps? Uh. Alright, folks. I'm gonna cut it here. But, uh, as always, thank you very much for watching and tune in the next episode. Damn it, why does it keep doing that? Uh, the next episode of The Book of Unwritten Tales. Thanks for watching, everybody.